So hi everyone, so today I have here the Mythic Legions action figure Sir Owain. So basically, um, same with uh, Vitos, uh, this is my first time owning, actually I acquired them um, both at the same time. So as you can see, I actually own two, uh, although I'm, I'm going to sell the other one. So, <laughs> Yeah, so I can only keep only one. Okay, so let's uh, take a look, closer look at this figure. Okay, okay, so this figure comes with a spear. Same with Vitus, a shield, same with Vitus, but different, Insignia, and a sword, same with Vitus as well, but painted differently from the handle. Okay, so let's check the Sir Wayne action figure, okay. So basically, the helmet here it doesn't have any um, human or unmasked head inside. So you just have to take it out from here and a ball joint peg here. So this is the closer look of the helmet. So very nicely painted with a very nice wash on the sheer. Even the paint, the helmet is very nicely done. Okay, this is the head. So as you can see, straight helmet. Okay, so I just have to put it back here. And of course, um, when I open the figure, as you can see from the box here, so the shoulder pad here is a separate piece, so you just have to um, reattach it here from the back. So this is the uh, this is the place where you will be attaching the shoulder pad. <coughs> okay, so of course um, this part here is a separate uh, piece as well and as you can notice here i'm not sure where to put this accessory here so upon checking the internet it goes here from uh, in his hip although i'm not yet sure how to do that because i'm not i'm afraid to pull the hip apart from the lower body <laughs> so i'll just keep it there for now okay so let's check the um well as you can see the scout very nicely done although i think the yeah the legs is a retool same with vetus even the gauntlet and the uh, body armor as well so well i think it's not that bad as long as they can pull a very very nice job from this figure okay so let's start with the articulation and after seeing this i'm i know that the shoulder pad will hinder the movement so you can you can do the 360 uh, movement, but it will um, affect the shoulder pad placement, of course. And of course, single jointed elbow. 
and this is the best movement you can do and swivel gauntlet and of course arms swivel as well and this okay and same with vetus doesn't have any abs articulation only hip swivel 360 for the part here so this one is rubber so since it is made of rubber i, I think a uh, slight soft rubber so if you move the legs it will not hinder the movement of the figure so forward backward and swivel here in this area and a single jointed knee as well so this is the best movement you can do yeah each figure of course comes with their ups and downs and i think uh this is the downside of the mythic figure since they are heavily sculpted mm yeah so uh, very limited movement of course ball jointed feet here though i'm not complaining with the articulation since i mostly going to display them like just standing like that and sometimes holding of course sword or the spear the accessories that it has okay all in all if i will be rating this figure um for me 8 over 10 yes and for the character of course 10 over 10 uh, i really love having this um, of course mythic mythical character And of course, I love having this kind of um, figure design. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, of course, uh, let's do some height comparison of this figure. So, we have here the Marvel Legends. 6 inch action figure. So, I'm not yet sure if this figure falls with the 7 inch or 6 inch line so this is the 7 inch line from the McFarlane <clears throat> as you can notice um, 7 inch is a bit taller I mean he is a bit shorter from the 7 inch and he is a bit taller for the 6 inch um, I think uh, this mythic figure still categorized with the 6 inch line. Yes. Okay, so that's all. Again, thank you guys for watching.